There we go. Lovely summer's day. Bit of table tennis action coming up a bit later. Bit of shade, radio. Nice garden, bit of garden work being done. Not by me, luckily. Darts, always good. Barbecue being cleaned. Again, not by me, luckily. I've cooked already today. I'm sort of much a bit of iron cowpen later, but that's cool. Up there, that's House 88. Up there in that dormer window, which you can just make out, is Bubba. So, as you've been following the story, Bubba was in the CD car with me. Uh, we're both mental. He's more mental than me, though. Uh, but yeah, he's sitting up there enjoying the sunshine. He might even pop down for the barbecue a bit later. We'll find out. Big dark match going off. Champion of champions game. Now what you can mind the blow, you have the blow on the millimeter kit. Yeah, we've got a, a bird table. Any life in it yet? No. No food in it though. It's a lovely day, no clouds in the sky. The darts continues. It's kind of cool. There's the summer house. Just use the storage really. It's a shame. Got a garage, that's also used for storage. Lots of storage. For the one day here we have a barbecue. Biscuits over there playing darts. He's a bomber jacket wearing tattoo, face tattoo harbour having. Jeez, it's half a mission in German. Uh, face tattoo having. Uh, skinhead. With the word skinhead on his, tattooed on his knuckles. Which, I'll be honest, up until last month, I'd never shared a room. Anybody who had knuckle tattoos or face tattoos. And now, I've done it twice in a month. Which is nice. Very oh, lovely paper, is. Lovely. The only problem is, some people have a resting bitch face. And Biscuit had resting, I'll smash your face in face. You go, you're right. He's like, yeah, I'm fine. He's, yeah. Perfectly pleasant. Very nice, actually. Always just pleasing, thank you. Can't ask for any more. Yeah. I think they're going to start warming the, the barbecue up now. So, uh, what am I to do now? I saw some rump steak in the uh, pile of goodies. So, I'm eager to get some of that action. Back later. Juice. Side note, this is our little fitness room. We've got... Laugh band that um, goes up and down so you can have it running at the incline, I think, of up to 15 degrees, which is quite steep when you run it on it. Yoga mat, yoga, yoga mat, yoga ball, stretchy things, they're okay actually, they serve a purpose. Uh, recumbent bike, elliptical, weight bench, I was just doing some overhead press. I think that's the, I think that. I don't think the bar is 20 kilos, I think it's a 15 kilo bar. We should make that 35 kilos, which is okay for a bed press for me. I am not very big and in my 40s. And this 
is new. Today, I think. I'd have to have a little punch on that, obviously. It's, uh, yeah, I've got a bag. Woohoo! My knuckles are a bit sore now. And I shouldn't really have attempted it with a broken finger, but it was okay. So, yeah, there you go, that's that. <laughs> Going from right to left, we have Biscuit, Banana Man, Giles, Goran and David. It's a long time ago, it's far too early, but if we look down here, they do look a lot like them, don't they? They do look a lot like them, don't they? They come to early. Look at that. Potato salad. Cabbage salad. Red things. Chili. Meat. Bread. Look at that. Bucket of Versht. Love it. Just had an update on the red thing. The red thing is prize of a beer, apple and cream, which is cranberries, apple and horseradish. Sounds interesting. Oh, and the uh, potato salad looks more sexy. What's wrong with lettuce? Looks good. One thing that was weird, well not weird, just different, was uh, the sausages versus the fish. In England, if someone brought up barbecue fish and prawns and seafood, that goes immediately. But here, it was all the, uh, all the sausages. Yeah. I mean, I know, to be expected. There weren't even that. But this sausage is very Yeah, interesting to me. If not you. Now we're off to go and see Alex. Just need to uh, buy my dad a Father's Day gift, then deliver it to her, and then uh, then get back. But it's a nice day. Look at the sky, not a cloud. That's the Glen. Flows into the South Sack in about a kilometre's time, a kilometre and a half. It's nice. You can go over that bridge through the park and the grey building between the trees is Sain uh, not Sainsbury's, why don't I say Sainsbury's? It's Spa. Right, we are not doing this. There are already fucking pumpkins for sale. It's June! That's an autumn food. I haven't had summer yet. We haven't had fucking any summer with the lockdown. But pumpkins? Just been listening to uh to the radio on the bus and uh, they're playing a bit of grime. Very forward thinking for Salzburg. It wasn't even on the pirate radio stations. It was on proper FM fear. It was proper grime. Well, we're catching up with the world. So, just starting the walk home. Should take about oh, an hour and ten, hour and twenty, depending on where I go. So, garden for the kids to play in. Sandpit over there, not full of needles and shit. It's kind of cool. Nobody ruins it. But the walk, nice and simple. The river runs basically, for the most part, to my house. But I'm going to jump off it a little bit earlier, take a slightly quicker route. So, let's see how this goes. <laughs> 